from Paz. What else can he do? Oh my goodness, Paz! Four from him. Absolutely unbelievable. How good is that going to be if Mouse Sports continue to push the B-bomb site? Oh, less of an if and a when, because AZ and Yugi, they're gone. Does that force yeah, them? We spoke about him. Now he's got to be the hero. Rops has already made it more difficult. Valder's gone. Gade and Kirby, they've got nothing left. Frozen has just ripped this round over. It's too much. We've got Rops up close to the MP9. The fire rate coming in handy. And at least he'll spot at least two players of the three that were there with a the death cam. And that's why Woxic's got the scout rather than you. We've got a rotation being teased by Woxic. But again, the MP9 is doing good work. Fast fire rate and Frost is able to rotate and just run distraction. Finally, Chris J is activated and that leaves Valde in the pool versus four. They've gone for the CZ75s and Kevlar. They've all got about 1,500 apiece after that. And oh my goodness, a rain of hell fire from Chris J and Frozen. Oh, jump peak, but he can't quite fire too many bullets. Chris J's got some help from Carrigan. And for him, or is he just playing up close? There's a the flash, but Gage's ready for it. And Carrigan gets to get a Molotov bit. towards new box and they will not have easy time. Chris J shows up just in the nick of it. 15 seconds. They still have to get that bomb down. Now the bullets are arriving they as are. They can't quite stop it. And now North have got a solid ch chance of that after plant with that Yugi Yop you were talking about. That is such a nervous situation. The peak from Chris J. If he doesn't do that, then maybe they have to save. They only had one flashbang and no position, but now here they are. Frozen able to rotate with no punish, but the T's don't know what's around the corner. Jump peeking for information will get punished by Vale. Not expecting him to be so deep in the pool. Ooh. Yugi's going to get taken up by Woxic. Of course he is. The bomb is pretty quick. Fast tick though. Woxic had the kit, but down he goes. And now it's one versus one. Managed to allow his teammates to get into this position, but Kyobi just needs to buy time. Goes for the peak. Is that time to get to the kit and defuse the bomb? It's going to be a close one. I don't know if he's got it. It's going to be really close. Just oh, in the nick of time. just about going to save it. What a frag from Woxic. By the skin of his teeth. Character flashed off, fragged. Nice work from Gade as he wants to. They've had Woxic in a few different positions, and Gade might have a shadow advantage. If he looks right place, right time, but he won't. Frozen with an important frag, but Rops has so much to do. They know he plays a part, they know he's here somewhere. Oh, Great burst, oh, a beautiful burst God. from Rops. So roughly where both the these mouse sports players are. But what can they do about it? Ding dong, Rops Never gets decided taken. himself that Valde will take this frag. Easy peasy, Easy's gonna find himself another one with the SG. That's a spicy round. Rops back in the graveyard position. He's been quite fond of this recently. Oh and my. they're lining up. It's an almost a complete clearance. Rops has to do the burst again. Another multi frag. We've got Yugi on the hay bells looking for a wall bang. They know where he is now, but Rops is dead. He's got a 1v1, but he hasn't seen Frozen moving up behind double stack. Pulls a molly out. Thought he was down to around half health. Oh, that's bad. He gets caught full flash in transition. Great work from AZ. Finds him that first blood. Converts off Alder's nade and Gade's not sick. He's got the sense to deal with it. He's walking but through. But does he have the timing? There is Gade. Very cheeky. To, oh, what did I say? Woxic with a 180. Woxic with another one on the balcony. And he still has angles Ooh. on these players. We've got one in T in the red, but finally Woxic is finished off. So dangerous. And there'll be no multi-frag from Rops on this occasion. Frozen in a one versus two, though. He's close to the site as he sees Yugi oh. repositioning. Takes him out immediately. He was in the red. He knows Valde's on the site. Waiting for the peak. There it is. Straight in the face. Unbelievable from Mouseball. Apps every single day. Carrigan's the first to be tested, though. That's one. Woxix managed to find Yugi in the process as well. AZ looking to go aggressive. He's punished alongside Rops, finding another. But my goodness, yeah. with very little to worry about. Yeah, even some rounds he's just been. Maybe this is too little, too late for North, but maybe not. They're just edging forward, looking to completely abuse these numbers. Probably one up from Rops, but that's a wrap. They are out of position oh, towards this. We've seen in the uh, rounds prior. 9 3 then will be the score. They just bundled out of apps and used the numbers game. I love so. this position from Robs. It's so good. He's going to get one, but that's enough. Falder shuts him down. Carrigan can't do anything either. They're starting to pour into the site, and it's filling up good. Game the here. There's a smoke and a flash. Kit. Chris J, he wants to take the fight. Shut down Valder, does so and backs away. Good cover. Seems they want to pursue this. So they're two versus two, worst case scenario. Now, they smoke and isolate the player on the site. So if the bomb's not planted for the player in the pit, then they could actually do this. Frozen coming around the side. Kyabi was blind, and now Kyabi's dead. Has he got an angle for this? Surely he's got to draw Yugi out. There's a, there's a alley oop Molotov, and that's going to be enough. Yugi falls back. He knows the round has been won. Close, but not quite, and Mouse Sports will lose for it. There, as he's going to try and see who he's there to support, and the nades start to rain in. As though the Danes, it's just going to be the one from Woxit. Carrigan swings, he's going to get one, looking for the double, tags up Yugi. Yugi does miss the shot, and it's all gone crumbling down. Yugi! Need quite a few headshots, but he can't quite see anything right now, and that might be an issue. No flashes for the retake, oh. but he's still going to find a headshot. Deathmatch starts on the B site here, and Inferno is a crucial one for the CTs. The Danes, they need this. Carrigan's looking to cause trouble. A bit of aggression. It does look, work out nicely. Frozen onto Valder. AZ swings around towards Coffin. That's a big shutdown on Frozen. Woxic, the last man standing, can't handle that. And over. I love this. I love that I can hear the coach shouting.
live with the feed in front of me. Nice work from Woktik to get that round started and even catch in the second game. To try and funnel Mouse Sports towards the A bomb site, but they seem to be willing to move into that funnel. So far, not so good. Frozen taken up. Kyabi gets shot in the head through the hay bale cart, but they still get the frags north. And look at this, this is a slaughter on the A bomb site. They're going to take everything they want away. Yeah. Easy wasn't even looking at his monitor just then. Gade, Falder, they're all there, and Chris J can't adjust in time. Coffin is where AZ does some of his best work, and he's done it again. Woxix gone, he's got another. Carrigan falls, and North find double digits. It's a flashbang as well, time for Gade's taken out. Will they check for Kiabi? He's shown his position now. Yugi can't hold a position Ooh. anymore. So if that smoke hadn't gone down, it's really... Mouse are all going to die on the site, I think. I don't know if anyone's getting away from this bomb. Oh, that's a huge frag from Ross. He's oh. making some money, but everybody but Carrigan will get taken. They were. They did seem to be prioritizing Mouseports' economy, and that's a great way to start. Stereo this can be very difficult to deal with. Chris, oh my days, that's Chris Jay is fishing. That's two. two kills on the B-bomb site. There's still a chance for Mouseports. That, I, I mean, what are the chances? Not the problem. Gonna try and get Valder up. There is a little bit of a gap on that smoke, and I think for him to exploit, Frozen finds another. Nice response from Valder. He's got to line him up. Chris Jay takes the fight from Emo, and he's going to be feeling exactly that. Does play anti-flash as Frozen goes aggressive. Frozen so low, one bullet will do. He's not going to be able to find both. Surely, Yugi's gone and Valder's on the other end of the smoke. He can do this, he's cognizant of it. This would be his third and he's not. Surely not. Oh my God, Frozen. it's this go. Frozen like ships in the night. They pass one another. Both have two frags. One will leave with three. It looks good for Frozen, but Valder, he gets the frag. Mouse Sports will get the round. Regurgitating. Easy. Does manage to get one. He's handling this well. He does get overwhelmed in sandwiches. the end. Ooh. Frozen's hungry. Already got two in this round. Valder's the third on his list. He's collecting. They are on the site and they're fusing. Three seconds, two seconds. Gade, he does get caught. Carrigan shuts him down. And the box but he goes through. He's taking risks. It could be grenades, but it could be gunfire as well. Oh. They're blinded. There will be trades on the A bomb site. Woxic delivers a kill to Yugi. He's got a gap around the smoke, but Rops is very uh, focused and he'll take Kyabi out. North keep it competitive for a second, but now he's looking for an AWP, but it's been taken by the likes of Woxic. I mean, I lived that by that philosophy with a CZ-75 and then proceeded to just... Roxy's I think I'd palace, of course. 30 seconds, and time starts to get slow, so Mouseports need to find these eliminations soon before they have too much bomb plant pressure, but it goes from bad oh. to worse. Gate picks up an AK, and this is looking like... This a is getting so awkward so fast. With 18 seconds left, I'm not even sure they can touch them. Fantastic positioning from Valor. Oh! Yeah, he takes it away from him. I think it was too late. Rotate maybe towards Connector, but Yugi's going for a creep, and Woxix's there already. There from Woxix's POV to look at somebody on the stairs. Oh, the yes. flick is there. So patient, Woxix. That's two from the A site. He spots the third, and things get worse for North, one by one. Racing, which is kind of a weird way to use bleed. Enough. Flashbangs will fly into multiple players. Kyabi gets taken out, though. Looking for the second one. Valde trying to do what he can. The trades continue all over the place, and it's two versus two that quick. Gonna surely shut down Gay here. He's in the molly, doesn't matter. The flames bring him down to 60, no but you no hope. Just wants to try and keep this weapon likely. And Woxix is gonna, <gasps> oof, I was gonna get away with that one. It's not safe for the CT to stand there, but anyway, on the B bomb site, three frags will fly through uh -oh. for North, but they're in a very tight spot for the Carrigan. The flashbang. We'll see that uh, Star Ladder have got these new headsets as well. Something that I think other tournament organizers have started to pick up. It's uh, a very fancy piece of tech. It's designed for helicopter pilots. Mm -hmm. You really cannot hear much. Number nine, we've got big flashbangs. They're lining up for him in mid, but there will be a trade. And maybe that's enough for North and the back. He's got it. Chris Jay's in CT spawn, but Yugi's got the angle. That is a very crucial frag, and there's a multi frag from Yugi. chance for North. Four versus one. Plenty of time for Carrigan, though. Cuts off a player. Does he start to wonder about the B bomb site? Gabe moving forward. Yugi on the ramp, and he'll yeah, kind of ridiculous. I need more coordination. I'm kind of mad. Oh, Yugi, he's really found his form now, starting to warm into a Players crucial. Apartments. Chris J, is he good for it? No, he's not. Valde will shut him down. Carrigan is to creep, but he looks away just at the wrong time, and I think the swing probably. The angle, as per usual. There he is, crouching, not showing to the palace. The bomb. Four unanswered frags for North as they move to half time, and now the gap is close to two. Carrigan's quickly made his way into the ladder room. Is there a flash for him? No, just a smoke for the molly, and he'll run into a rifle. Not going to work for him. Yugi spots some players by the window. He needs some help, Ooh. or does he? Delivers the first kill, spots box. They're going for the nose, go for the quick scope. Not sure which one, but either way, it looks like another round for North. Two versus two, maybe. It's not a bouncing the HE off. They're Boxer making in a rough position with the Mac 10. Super competitive. Did good frag from Gade, unfazed, but the damage done by Woxix converted by Frozen. He's done it. That will be a 9 6. Gade, now they start to approach. Chris J's gone. Nice restraint from Yugi. Does reveal his location, though, and Carrigan with the kit still breathing. 
wants to get that smoke on the bomb. Ooh. Bomb was planted for sure, but Watson didn't get there in time to stop it. We got triple frags coming through for North, and Rops is in a tight spot, and at this point, might as well him up. he's so good with the consistency, and there can be flashbacks oh through God. Connector. He's on fire, he's not on fire anymore. So they have to go know. towards B and look at the rotation from Mousebox. They have all the information, Ooh. and they have the shots on Carrigan as well. Such patience to take that shot, and another one. Carrigan doubles up, Kirby's Ooh. gone. Ram, now this becomes a problem for Mouse Sports. Chris J just moonwalking into a uh, peak of Connector. That's really unusual. Poor timing from him, but good timing from Carrigan. Again. Slightly wide. He's made the right idea as well. Straight wow. in the face. Frozen is such a problem. Full on retro A smoke take. Kirby's ahead of them though, and Rops was totally ready for it. Yeah, but can they get any more than that? There's still the numbers game for North as they move in. It doesn't last very long. They're getting erased. Very, very quickly indeed. Woo! Brutal. Leaving the site abandoning. Absolutely crazy. Carrigan now with the AWP getting a bit leery perhaps, but delivering the shot into Yugi. That leaves three North players fighting for survival, trying to move into the A site. There are three CTs here as well. And Chris J top in some space being sprayed through the boxes. We've got Rops now on the stairs looking up, taking AZ out, and it's down to Valde. One versus four to stop Mouseports. Look at the lineup as well, almost a triple peak. Frozen and Rops, they're ready up. Rops goes and it's Frozen, of course, to get the final frag and Mouse Sports make it to the major. Mouse Sports will be fantastic performance from them, but also locking themselves into the star ladder.